Hey, hey, save my coin budget friends. It's your girl Shalisha and in today's video, we are going to set up and budget out my May monthly budget. So if you like budgeting videos, cash stuffing, sinking funds, learning how to budget on a low income, single mother finances, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe bell so you do not miss time on a post. This is your first time seeing my video. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on it. If you're a returning subscriber and oldie but goodie, hey, hey, thank you so much for coming on back. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it is almost May, but we are going to go ahead and set up my monthly calendar as well as my monthly budget. We are in the Save My Coin Budgets Financial Planner. If you are interested, go ahead and check it out on my website. There is a couple different versions. It is everything you need. It has savings challenges, um, motivation, bill trackers. It has everything that you need in a one-stop shop. So if you are interested, just go ahead and check out the description box down below. So we're going to go ahead. This may be a little bit of a longer video. So relax, get a adult beverage or something that's going to just calm you down. If you're watching this after work, a tea, coffee, your water and just relax we're just gonna have some tranquility it's gonna be real just mellow we're gonna get this thing done and pray that may is our month so let's go All right, guys, so we went ahead and we've set up my monthly calendar. So I get paid on for my full-time job on the 10th and the 24th of this month. And I have my YouTube paycheck that I receive on the 21st. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos, for sharing them, for watching the ads. Um, I appreciate it for commenting. I thank you so much because without you, I would not have this additional income on the 21st. Um, and... I have, of course, on the first, my mortgage and my HOA, which if you saw my last budget video, which was my April 2nd paycheck, then you know that we did put a portion from that April paycheck as well as the first April paycheck to pay this um, May 1st mortgage payment. And so for the next two paychecks that I receive in May, I'm going to break those up so that I can go towards the mortgage in June. So we have our HOA that was paid in that last paycheck. And then we have also credit card, which is at zero. We have AT&T as well as my daughter has a field trip on the 8th and she wants me to attend it. So I will be there present with bells on. Um, on the 10th, of course, we have my tithe. We have my Target credit card, Walmart, uh, ComEd and Capital One. My second Capital One uh, card on the 18th. The 19th is State Farm. The 20th is my phone bill. On the 21st, my tie is out of my YouTube paycheck. Um, tied again on the 24th. Ooh, we get two paychecks in a week. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Um, NICOR and then Discover. And then we are done for the month. Of course, we have Mother's Day here. And then I wrote some notes for myself for the field trip that my daughter will be going on, making sure that we both have a lunch. I'm going to try my best to cook two times um, per week. Uh, we'll see. But I'm going to try my best to um, start cooking, at least starting to get in the routine of cooking at home um, for at least two days um, out the month. I'm sorry, two days out the month. Two days out the week is what I'm going to start with. And then, of course, Mother's Day. And then for my vacation that I'm going on in June, I do want to have my money for my shuttle bus. So just a note for myself. And, of course, Homegirl is just trying to make sure she drinks all her water, stay hydrated, drink my water, and mind my business, okay? Mind my business, mind my budget, and I'm good. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip to the next page, which is the monthly budget. So this is where we're going to lay out all the financial parts of this budget to make sure that at least our four walls are taken care of through our uh, 40 hour a week job. Or if I need to include my YouTube income or my website income, I at least know um, from based off this monthly budget. So 
um, these two paychecks that I'm going to receive are going to be the 10th and the 24th. But since I did roll my income in, in from my April 26th paycheck, I'm actually going to make this the April 26th paycheck and the May 10th paycheck. As well as this 24th paycheck because we are paying some bills with that. So we're going to have three paychecks here, but all three we are not spending in this month. Um, so we have four... 26. And remember that check was short. It was 1,100 and what was it? We didn't have a whole lot that we rolled over. I think was what $54. Um, $53. So we rolled over. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do $53 here. And then we have our paycheck from $510. I'm going to budget that to be $1,380. And then we have $524, which would be $1,380 is what I budget. So because I do the paycheck by paycheck method, that means that my paychecks pay specific um, things for the month. So each paycheck has an assignment and a duty. Um, so I'm going to zoom you guys out so you will be able to walk along with me. So these are my highlighters. Hopefully I can keep them. My daughter may come and try to take them. I don't know, but we will see. So I'm going to do three colors for this month. So we have gray, pink, and teal. So for gray, we are going to go back and we're just going to highlight this last paycheck that we received here. So on the 20, 20 it was the 26, you guys remember, no, I, I marked it wrong. So on the 26th, that paycheck covered my Discover credit card. And then we went to May 1st, and it covered my mortgage, my HOA, also my Ulta credit card, my AT&T internet. And that's all because it goes all the way up to the day before my next paycheck. So it covered all of those financial responsibilities. So then for the next paycheck, it is on the 10th. And that paycheck is going to cover everything through the next day of my next paycheck. So it's going to cover my Target credit card, my Walmart credit card, my ComEd bill, my first Capital One credit card, my second Capital One credit card, my State Farm insurance my phone bill and everything else that i have for my cash envelopes throughout the 20 until the 23rd so then on the 24th when i receive my last paycheck i'm gonna scoot you guys up just a little bit make sure you can see so on the 24th of may that's going to cover my nycor gas my discover credit card and then, so this is the first that's right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put the first. And that's going to also cover my mortgage and my HOA. So whatever I have left out of this check, a portion is going to have to go towards my mortgage and my HOA. So that is why I do a paycheck budget so I'm able to actually plan and map, map out how my finances are going to go so each paycheck has a specific color um, and a specific bill that it's going to uh, pay now my YouTube paycheck I don't include in my monthly budget because if I need to use that to go towards a bill or something comes up then I'm not going to allocate it towards something specific I'm just going to go ahead and put it towards what I need to put it towards um, so let's go ahead and start calculating and see what our income is going to be. So we have our $53 that we rolled over 
and then we have our one thousand three hundred and eighty dollars plus our one thousand three hundred and eighty dollars so that brings us to a total of two thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars so since i already tithed off of this paycheck i'm only going to be tithing off my may 10th and may 24th paycheck so that is going to be one one thousand three hundred eighty multiplied by two no did i do something wrong i think i did one thousand three hundred and eighty multiplied by two okay plus 53 okay so 2000 i know y'all probably screaming at the the screen like sis you missed the number okay there we go so it's 2813 dollars my apologies so we have 1380 multiplied by two so that would be my tithe which is the first thing that i always pay i don't care if I don't have any money left to pay any other bills. I'm going to make sure that I tithe because God is my provider. He is my way maker, my source. He has never left me nor forsaken me, y'all. Don't get me started. Don't get me started because we're going to end up shouting on this video. But um, it don't matter if I have it or don't have it. I'm going to make sure that I tithe because I'm trusting God um, is being the head of my life. Okay? So this is a personal choice. If that ain't something you believe in, then that's between you and your beliefs. But for me, I'm going to do what I need to do because I'm saying, God, I trust you. I surrender. You have your way. Okay. So my budget tithe is going to be $276 for the month. Mortgage is going to be $1,600. We have HOA, which is for the month. And this mortgage and this HOA is going for the month of June. A $75. Then we have State Farm, which is my insurance for all the adulting. $135. And if you have State Farm, um, if you have more than one insurance, did they split yours up? I'm yeah, just let me know in the comment section down below. Um, so that is all the pretty heavy, heavy bills that I have. Next, we go into my variable expenses. Um, so these are the ones that change throughout the month. Um, they're not always the same or predictable. So the first one is going... Oh, I forgot my phone bill here. Phone bill. $100. Yeah. Okay, so our fixed expenses come to $2,220, leaving a remaining amount of $612 to go over to my variable expenses, which my variable expenses are my, um, what's called this Utah, <laughs> my Alta credit card, my uh, Target credit card. Let me go ahead and write these down. Alta, Target. Walmart, ComEd, and then I have Capital One, one, and then Capital One, number two, and then I have, I already got phone bill, and then I have just Nikkor Gas and Discover. Nikkor Gas and discover so for, all right so for my alta credit card i'm going to budget to put 78 dollars because i might schedule a trim at alta um just to use my card because i haven't used it in a couple of months um target i do not have a balance on target walmart i do not have a balance thank you jesus come at i'm gonna budget 110 dollars i'm not sure what it's going to be but it was a little warm the last couple of days, so I did have to run the AC. So I'm just going to prepare myself that that bill is just going to be higher. 
Capital One, my first one. Um, I do have a balance on there currently of $103. I did put my water bill on there because I wanted the uh, rewards because they were doing 9% um, back in cash back. Um, so I went ahead and put that on there. So I'm going to go ahead and pay it off. And then we have my uh, Capital One number two. That does not have a balance. Thank you, Jesus. Nicor Gas, I am going to budget that to be sixty dollars i really haven't to, really have not had to use it but we'll see discover does not have a balance so we're gonna see what we got left so we have seventy eight dollars we have one hundred and ten we have one hundred and three plus sixty so we have three hundred and fifty one dollars that's left so that is going to go into sinking fund savings challenges and cash envelopes so sinking funds that is saving a little bit at a time for future expenses my most important ones are back to school emergency fund and um christmas those are my three that are super super important to me um i am actually going to talk about what i did with some of my sinking funds um that i put money aside for because homegirl did just i had to do some things um that'll probably be another video that we talk about uh but for sinking funds i'm focusing on those three back to school christmas and my emergency fund so for sinking funds of this 351 dollars i'm going to go ahead and put a hundred and 25 dollars into sinking funds that leaves us with 226 dollars so I'm gonna put for my cash stuffing, which is for my um, cash envelope. So those are my daily expenses. I do get asked when I do these monthly budgets, where is your personal spending? Gas, groceries, eating out, coffee, miscellaneous, blessings. All of those are my cash envelopes. I don't write each one out because I just don't feel the need to, but my groceries, my gas, my personal spending, things like that are all in my cash envelopes. I am low income, so I don't have a huge budget for it, but I do like to make sure that I at least try to include something for that personal spending, which I'm going to budget out to be $200. All right, so now that I'm actually looking at this, I'm gonna change this amount for my sinking funds to $75 because I do have to make sure that I have enough money for my cash envelopes for my monthly budget. Um, so we're gonna do 75 here. So we're going to do the 125 minus the 75. That means we have $50. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add $50 into my cash envelopes for the month. So that means that each cash envelope stuffing will be around $125 um, if this is how the budget goes. So we're going to go ahead and calculate just to make sure that we got every dollar that was possibly on the table. But let me know, have you done your May budget? Let me know if you like this pace that you're able to do your budget with me. Or if I'm going too fast. Let a homegirl know. Alrighty, so we have... We're over budget, y'all. Let me figure out where I went wrong. Okay, y'all, so I recalculated this twice. So that means I am going to be over budget at this point of 50, actually $64. So I'm not sure where I miscalculated, um, but I'm gonna figure it out off of camera. And if anything, if I don't have enough to put into my cash envelopes, I will not do a cash stuffing for my sinking funds. Everything will just go into my personal daily spending because um, I don't have enough money to save um, from this monthly budget as it looks like so this is why i like to do a monthly budget so homegirl's not like i got some extra money in this paycheck that means that the next paycheck could be super heavy my heavy paycheck is always my second paycheck because that's where um a lot of my money goes towards the next month's bills to make sure that i'm okay for those first uh 14 days so i'm going to like i said after we do our first uh, paycheck budget for the month of may and if things are still looking the way that it looks now of being over budget then i am going to go ahead and not do anything in sinking funds or i do have the option to include my um youtube paycheck as well as my website um 
income to sustain but this is why I always do a budget for my monthly budget and then I break down each paycheck that I receive because homegirl may have done some numbers wrong uh, to make sure that everything is taken care of but as of right now this is what our budget is looking like so I do have some other options I do have a small buffer in my checking account um, so I can take from out of there and not have to use my business income but if I do have to and things come out to be a lot heavier than I thought they were going to be then I will do so but if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. But I thank you guys so much for watching and for being the best part of the Saving Fam. 